Good morning, everyone. Today, I would like to talk about uh, working meditation, um, which we practice on Tuesday night, the sitting meditation class. Uh, but working meditation indoor is a little different from working meditation outdoor in terms of the technique. The third Head Dharma Master of One Buddhism Venerable Tesan said, diseases arise in the head, cures originate from the feet regarding walking meditation. Just like a sitting meditation, the benefit of walking meditation is great. So particularly in Taoist or Buddhist tradition, it is widely practiced. Particularly in Theravada Buddhist tradition, Buddhist monks or nuns practice sitting meditation one hour and walking meditation one hour, constantly. Yeah. Many people find it hard to practice a sitting meditation for a longer time, especially for beginners. But each and every person can walk. We have walked since we were toddler. So walking meditation is a wonderful initiation for particularly beginners of meditation. Walking meditation can be a link between sitting meditation and our daily activities. When we can practice walking meditation and we can meditate, we can maintain the meditative and the peaceful state of mind, then we can apply that to our daily activities in order to stay focused and peaceful while our mind and body is involved in many activities. What is the difference between walking and walking meditation. Maintaining the focused, settled state of mind, that, is the, uh, that may be the difference. When you walk in the park without any pressure, then that can be the walking meditation. Hmm? But not all the walk or walking is not Walking meditation. For example, we are pressed in time. You rush yourself uh, to your car in the parking lot, then that may not be walking meditation. What is the philosophy concept of a walking meditation? The direction of a walking meditation is uh, to come back to the present moment, to come back here and now. That is the concept of a walking meditation. Walking meditation is not a means to refresh ourselves, to better circulate our chi energy, or enhance physical or spiritual well-being for the next session of a sitting meditation. It is not a means to an end. We practice walking meditation for what? For the sake of walking meditation, to be fully present at this moment. We have a run, walked for our whole life. We have a run for a better career, for a bigger car, for a better relationship, whatever it, thing it is. We always uh, walked, run to reach somewhere. Since we constantly searched for a more ideal condition, in the future. So we have lost this very moment. So we have lost our life itself many times. The fullness, the richness of this present moment of, of our life. So this may be the biggest delusion of a human mind. In the future, all things, all problems will disappear. I will become more happier when I pay back all the debt 
when I can get married or I can get divorced or when I finally finish my degree. It's just like uh, climbing to the ladder. When we reach to the top of the ladder, then there is nothing. The climbing up itself is our journey. That is our life. When we reach to the highest point, then we may discover there's more challenge or there is nothing over there. So we practice walking meditation to enjoy this very moment, to be fully present at this moment, uh, which lacks nothing. When I was in graduate school, there is a kind of a program, long sitting program, Mumungwan. It literally means a gateless gate. Uh, it's a, a, a 10 day sitting, all day sitting, like 12 hours in silence. Many students were very, very restless. Sitting meditation, five hours of sitting, six hours, it's okay, but as we, it reaches more than eight, nine hours, then sometimes more wandering thought, drifting thought can arise. So at the end of the, of the session, I realized paradise is uh, the realm. When I would like to lie down, I can lie. When I would like to walk, if I can walk, that's a paradise. If we would like to read the books, we can read the books. We all have a inter healthy internal organs that we can walk, we can see, we can hear the birds chirping. So if we really reflect the reality, come back to the present moment, we have all the conditions that that make us happy right now. So my teacher always told me that happiness is not available on eBay or in the supermarket. For the person who are aware, for the person who are mindful, it is available right now. We better be away, free from the illusion. So if everything goes to our way, in the near future, we'll become more happier. A child is innocent because uh, they don't think they are innocent. Hmm? Likewise, uh, if we try to practice uh, walking meditation perfectly, that may not be the authentic walking meditation. If you walk very, very freely inside this meditation or, or outside, then that can be the walking meditation. But just like uh, a child goes to a dangerous uh, place, we have to do something. Since whether we walk inside this meditation hall or outside, many times our mind is bombarded with uh, so many wandering thoughts or concerns, uh, worries. So a little skillful method is uh, necessarily to make our regular walking to walking meditation, to transform walking meditation into a more deeper, profounder walking meditation, to enjoy our walking meditation more enjoyable and deep, some skillful method I'd like to say, just a couple of things. What's the ideal time for walking meditation? Today, I chose this topic uh, because I would, like to, I would like to recommend you practice working meditation at home, um, whatever time. You can practice working meditation whatever time you like, in the early morning or at dusk, right after sitting meditation or during your lunch break in the office. We can practice walking meditation anytime, particularly in the early morning or in, when you walk in the beautiful setting, then you can be energized, nourished by the nature. 
And you can practice working meditation from 10 minutes uh, or to 50 minutes. If we work more than one hour, it's a little exhausting. So it may not be the walking meditation. Um, after dinner, instead of watching television, um, you can practice walking meditation in your neighborhood. From time to time, I'm going to the Manhattan One Temple to give a Dharma talk on Sunday. Then their services start from 11 o'clock. After breakfast, I prepare some Dharma talk. I have like a one or two hour available time before the service. Then I walk in the downtown of Manhattan. It's also very, very good. When our mind is put to rest, then all the information that we gather does start to become organized and structured. Many brain, brain scientists say that. So the place can be anywhere. Or when I go to the, when I fly to Korea, it's an international flight, so we have to arrive at the airport a little earlier. Then when I was waiting, then I always carry my laptop, I do some work, and then if I find I have more than 30 minutes of available time, then I walk in the corridor of the airport. Or you can walk in, in, at the bus station, it does not matter. Instead of using your iPhone, you can practice walking meditation wherever, in whatever situation. When you walk, uh, you can walk upright in a, uh, in a somewhat dignified and a relaxed way. And uh, when you walk outside, when, you, when we practice walking meditation indoor, then the mindful walking, the pace is a little slow, placing our awareness usually on our tactile sensation that our feet touch the floor. But when you walk outside, there are a lot of attractive things, attractive sounds or fresh air, so we don't need much object of meditation. Just like Zen saying, when you walk, just walk. Just walk. That is the philosophy. But we usually recommend to walk a little slowly it's not just related with our pace. In order to slow our mind, we usually recommend to walk a little slower. But walk at a leisurely rate is an idea. Sometimes you can walk a little faster or a little slower, depending on your situation, inside or outside. That will help to let go of all your drifting thoughts. Yeah. The natural ease, ease of walking brings peace and centeredness. Especially when we discover we have a lot of wandering thoughts or concerns, just uh, there are a lot of methods. You can just uh, stand still and let go of all those uh, worries and concerns and come back to your step or to your breathing again. But it is very important to, when you practice working meditation, you can get the feeling of your connection to the earth, to the floor or to the earth. You can feel your step. You can feel your step whether it's on this floor or outside. Some people practice working meditation. When they practice outdoor, they walk barefoot so that they can more acutely feel the sensation of the soil. It's a very, very healthy and very pleasant sensation. The Zen master Thich Nhat Hanh recommended that when we place our foot on the earth, it's just like a, a emperor place, 
places his seal on a royal decree in that dignified way, in that solid way. We practice walking meditation. By whatever technique you use to be free from wandering thoughts or concerns, still we more thoughts can arise. So this is just a couple of technique. You can try this or that and find out which is the most helpful to you. This is one technique that the master Thich Nhat Hanh said. When you walk, it is just like a child kiss his mother, the mother earth. Feel the kiss that your foot make on the ground. Each time you place one of your feet down, imagine that you are kissing the earth. You can remember that. Or, one another technique he recommended. Each time you pick up your feet here or outside, you can visualize that a beautiful lotus is now blossoming under each step in the place that your foot was. You can visualize the lotus was blooming. Or you can make some mental load, not. When you place each step, you can say, I have arrived. In the next step, you can say, I am home. I have arrived. I am home. Or, I am free as the wind. I am solid as the mountain. You do not remember all these things, but just pick one or two things and uh, figure it out. What can be the most uh, efficient, easy way to be away from wandering thoughts? Is there anybody who have visited the Cambodia? Okay, <laughs> yeah, just a two person here. So we know the killing field, eh? the Pol Pot regime, the communist regime, who took power for just uh, several years. For the first uh, two years, uh, he killed so many people, all the intelligent people. Do you know how many monks and the person of uh, monks and nuns who was killed by him, by that regime? It's not 70 or 80 percent. He killed 100 Buddhist monks and nuns, Pol Pot race. So before that, of course, many Buddhist priests left the Cambodia. So because of the humans' greed, the anger, unwholesome mindset, then the earth, the soil, I think is affected, is influenced. So one of the one Buddhist temple, uh, Gangnam Temple in Seoul, Korea, they has uh, helped uh, a lot of uh, victims uh, who lost uh, their anchors because of the uh, at the mind field. Uh, the, the, there's still a lot of uh, hidden mind embedded under the ground. So many uh, children lost their feet because of the uh, mind that exploded. So when we practice working meditation, that when our mind becomes calm and peaceful, it does not only heal ourselves, but also it can heal the earth itself. It can heal our environment. For example, just like a child kisses his mother, or on each and every step, if some invisible lotus has bloomed, then I think it's the healing effect is a great. And we have to take care of our Mother Earth because she's very, very old. Do you know how old she is? 40 billion years old. So we, we need to take care of her. 
Then Master Rinzai said, it is not a miracle to walk into the fire or to walk in the space. It is a miracle for us to walk on earth. Last Tuesday, we saw some very short film, uh, the lady Anita, who experienced some near-death experience. It is not just her. All people who came from those experiences unanimously say that it is really, really great to be alive. It is really, really great for, for we are able to breathe in and out. For those little but very fundamental important things, we become very much uh, greater for. So Thich, Thich Nahan said, the pure land of Amitabha Buddha is said to have a lotus pond, seven gem trees, rose paved with gold, and so on. But to me, dirt path with the meadows and the lemon trees are much more beautiful. As a novice monk, I told my master, if the pure land does not have a lemon trees, I don't want to go there. He may have thought I was stubborn. He did not say anything. Later, I learned that this world and the pure land both come from our mind. That made me very happy. I knew that when you walk mind-free, you are already in the pure land. When you are peaceful and free, the earth itself becomes a pure land, and there is no need to go anywhere else. So he said, our true, where is our true home? Our true home is in the present moment. Nirvana is in the present moment when we are mindful, when we come back to here and now. So I strongly encourage you, for example, after long driving, after doing some mental work, instead of watching television or read a magazine, it's okay to chat with your close friends, but from time to time, to nourish your mind as well as your body, you can use a walking meditation. Hmm? Instead of taking a nap after long driving, you can walk in your neighborhood. Just like a good food nourishes our body, walking meditation, just like a sitting meditation, nourishes our body as well as our mind. So today, uh, so Ellen created a lot of walking trails over there, and the Reverend Cha, these, uh, for the last several months, uh, created uh, some walking trails in that hilly area. So let's uh, practice walking meditation. Instead of having tea today, we can walk in silence. Uh, I would like to suggest uh, two, <coughs> two courses. One trail, uh, take a, a short course, like it takes uh, 20 minutes, a little longer trail, takes uh, 35 or 40 minutes. After this, uh, we will get together to the sunrise trail, and then we can go up, it takes like 10 minutes. And uh, if uh, you'd like to walk a little more, we can go right, then it will take uh, like 35 minutes. But if you come down, on the Moonrise Trail, it takes uh, 20 minutes. It's not long course, so let's practice walking meditation.